We are backstage at Epicenter here in North Carolina in Rockingham. The first ever Epicenter. I know, crazy, huh? I know, we're breaking in a new festival. I'm glad to be here and, to and, help the breaking. And, and since we're, we're <laughs> chatting, I, I should let people know that I'm chatting with John from Skillet. We should let folks know that. That would be important since they can't see what's happening here. I know, they should because we're so good looking. Well, I'm going to say you're a better looking yeah. man. And oh, we, no, no. I was, I was complimenting your beard earlier. The, the beard game is strong. And I guess I would ask you as a fellow beard wearer. Yes. What, what are some <laughs> tips? Uh, I could use some beard tips in terms of maintaining Maintaining it. beard. Well, the first tip I think for, for a lot of guys they don't know is the first tip is this. You need to maintain it. Right. You know, otherwise, you, 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 you know, your lady is just like, dude, you look like a, uh, you look like a homeless person, yeah, yeah, smells, it's and it's nasty. You know what? Because of that, this is a true story. I started my own beard products. You did? I wish I had them here. I could give it to you, but you can check it out on Amazon. It's uh, John Cooper is my name. Yep. John Cooper Beard Products. It'll show up. Uh, beard wax, beard oil, beard wash. You, so that, that's the thing. You kind of just, you got to keep it washed, and you got to put something in it to make it smell nice. Now, do you have a beard balm? Because I've been using a beard balm is uh i do not have balm i i, I kind of went for the extreme the oil and okay. the wax because a bomb is kind of like in the middle right okay. um so i didn't do the middle thing because i have to use wax on mine and you and, and wax is a little harder to find but uh yeah, but absolutely. check it out okay i will do we'll do now uh we got to get to business right away you're a packers fan and i'm a bears fan yeah this is the real business <laughs> and yet and yet here we are uh coexisting peaceably we're, coexisting. we're like <laughs> i mean let, let's this be, is america we're the melting pot <laughs> well be, let's be clear the tension is thick in here oh clearly. yeah it is it is you know i know we're, we're trying to restrain ourselves from uh <laughs> but uh do you feel good about the the packers i do the, you know next season i mean here's the thing about packer fan my, my wife is from wisconsin so she's lived there her whole life yeah. and so the thing about these packers i'm not from there i'm right. from Memphis. Uh, but when I moved there, I kind of found out you're not allowed into the family if you don't adopt the Packers. You're yeah. not allowed to go to a gas station, to a bar. You know, it's like all Packers are like, they'll beat you up. If man. you're not a Packers fan, that's a divorceable offense. I, I'm telling you. Especially I, in the laws right. up there. Like, oh, he doesn't like the Packers. Oh, divorce that, granted. It's in the Wisconsin Bible. <laughs> <you know? laughs> right. Uh, the big news, the breaking news is that there's a new song that's Woo! come out. And there's a new album yeah. that's coming out. So uh, give us the scoop. What All right, here's the scoop, baby. Uh, just announced uh, three days ago. Yes. So this, this is, is pretty cool. This, this is, is fresh. This We're is getting brand you new right information. as the news is broken. Yeah. Uh, very excited. The, the single is called Legendary, and the album is called Victorious. It's uh, up for pre-order now. You can go to skillet.com iTunes, whatever you want. The lyric video is up now for Legendary. In fact, it just it just surpassed half a million views right when I was on my way to this interview because I'm checking it. You know, oh, nice. Because you got you to tweet about it. Of you course, know, of course. We're all losers like that. <laughs> right. And uh, I was like, oh, half a million views in, in two days. It means the fans are excited. The fans are still engaged. That's what it's all about. you, you got to make sure your fans are happy or you've put out the wrong r record. Well, plus they didn't, yeah. forget, they didn't forget about you. They don't forget, you know, you got to keep it going, you know, and, and uh, that's the most important thing is making sure the fans you have are happy. They don't forget about you. So record is out now, and uh, I'll tell you anything you want to know about it because I am so, I'm on top of the world, man. All right. Well, one more thing, since you have the excellent beard, and it looks like you could be an extra on Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, are, are you a Game of Thrones fan? Uh, you know, I'm a fan of the books. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. But not the, you haven't Not watched. the series. Yeah, I watched a little bit. Okay. It was, um... It was a little too much for me. I think some of the, it was a little too pornographic for me. Okay. And not judgment on anybody else, but I didn't find the books to be that way. I felt the books to be kind of, I mean, they were edgy, of course, yeah. and things. But like, I think it's kind of like the rape stuff. I can't handle the rape stuff. It's, you know, uh, it's, it's it's pretty it's intense. intense. It's very intense. But that's no judgment on anybody else. I want, if I could get past, I probably would love it because uh, I'm a huge fan of the book. I yeah. mean, the books you can't. You can't put them down. No. And they're big. There's a, there's a lot of reading. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I, but so I am a fan of that. But all that to say, I, I can't uh, I can't get involved in all the uh, fannery. You know, people. Some people are mad about the newest stuff oh, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Some people are happy. You can't and, please everybody, as you know, as someone who puts stuff out uh, yeah, there. Yeah, the you can't please everybody. Can't please everybody. What's next for Skillet? Well, let's see. Um, the new record is what we're mainly focused on now. We've got a killer tour coming out um, in August with our friend Seven Dust. Uh, Pop Evil, 
Devour the Day. It's going to be a crushing tour, so I'm very pumped yeah, up about that. Nice. I've toured with Seven Dust once, but only about 10 shows. It was one of those mini mini runs, right, you know, right. so we're doing like a real tour this time. Perfect. Which uh, is great because I love the guys. Pop Evil, I'm good friends with. We've toured together twice. We've probably done uh, 25 shows, so, okay. so we're kind of old friends at this point. Nice. So uh, it's going to be a great tour, and, and so I hope people check out the single. I hope they like it. Uh, Corey and I produced the record, so that's that's another thing I should say about the record. Which is, is uh, very cool. What was that experience yeah. like? Yeah, well, it was good. Some people listening might know, Corey is our guitar player, also my wife. We write all the music together. We've always done a lot of production on our records, but you don't always get the your name on the album, you know, right, which, right. of course, who cares? You yeah. just want to make a good project. But this time it was like, you know what? We've done so much of it in the past. Why not let us off the leash, do our own record? The label agreed. And um, so then you get to try whatever you want. And, and when you try a really crappy idea, you do, at least you tried it, you know. Well, it's it, on you then, too. It's on you. There's like, no one else to blame. Oh, that sucked. Yeah. Throw that out yeah. and then redo it. Fire um, that guy. Uh, yeah, fire. Hey, I fired Corey three times. <laughs> no. Um, so I think that made the record... Um, to me, a little bit more unique, a little bit more exciting, because it's a little bit more musical, it's a little more riffy, and I think that's a cool thing about the record. Very cool. So I hope people dig it. Well, very cool. John, so much of a pleasure to chat with you. I love chatting with you, and thanks uh, for playing all of our music, being so supportive. I appreciate that, and thanks to the listeners for loving Skillet. We love you back.